welcome back to my channel. My name is Ayana, and today's video is another super, super, super exciting video. I'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve these Rihanna inspired Bantu knots. So, if you guys want to see how I complete this style, make sure to keep on watching. Or if you just want to know how to do Bantu knots, I am here to teach you. So, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video, and turn on my post notification bell to get notified every single time I post. I post two times a week on Tuesdays and Fridays, so you don't want to miss a video. Also, don't forget to like this video, leave down any video suggestions you may have down below. Follow my Instagram, my Snapchat, my Twitter, and my TikTok to keep up with me. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So our first step to achieve this hairstyle is to detangle our hair. So I used a little bit of oil. You can use any oil of your choice, but definitely use an oil because you want your hair to look smooth and you want your hair to look shiny in this style. So I use the Shea Moisture Revival Oil, but you can use any oil of your choice. And I'm just going to take my wide tooth comb and basically detangle my hair. So after I'm done detangling my hair, I will section off my hair with a ponytail holder. And pretty much what we are going to be doing is creating sections for our bantu knots and it is really 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 important since this style exposes your scalp that you have clean parts and that you part your hair nicely with your comb so make sure your parts are straight and really really clean because it's gonna look kind of messy if you just take a bunch of different sections and you don't part anything so for the next couple of minutes, you guys will just see me continue to part my hair. I really took my time to part my hair <laughs> and you definitely wanna make sure your parts are clean. So that is what I'm doing. After I make a clean part, I will take that section, detangle it, add my oil, and then I will secure it with a ponytail holder. And in a couple of minutes, I will show you guys how to create the Bantu knots.
right, so we're almost to the fun part, which means we are almost done, and we are so close to creating our Bantu knots, but I just wanted to tell you guys that I specifically will be doing braided Bantu knots, so I will be braiding my hair and then Bantu knotting it, so that is what I'm going to be doing because that is the way that Rihanna did it in the thumbnail, so that is what I'm going to be doing because I'm recreating that look, but if you want, you can also twist your Bantu knots. You don't have to braid them if you think that you would rather twist your hair that is fine too or if you don't want to twist it or braid it you can do that also there are so many different types of bantu knots which is why i love this style so now we are going to create our bantu knots and what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be adding a little bit more oil to my hair just to make sure the bantu knot is shiny and it doesn't look dull and then after i braid it i will be wrapping it around and after i wrap it around i'll be securing it with a bobby pin and that is pretty much it. And the reason that we sectioned our hair off first was so that we could get the hard part out of the way because that is honestly the most difficult part is sectioning and detangling your hair and you know, separating everything. So that was the hard part, we got that out of the way. So now we are just going to bantu knot and braid our hair. of this tutorial and I didn't add lock jewelry but this hairstyle looks so good if you add lock jewelry or you add hair rings or you add just any type of hair jewelry in this style is so cute so I would highly recommend that you do that but for the sake of this video because I was doing it how Rihanna did it I did not add any lock jewelry or any other accessories but if you want to do that definitely go ahead it makes the style even better and I just love hair jewelry so definitely if you want to do that you definitely can lastly I will be doing my baby hairs this is optional if you want to do it you can or if you don't want to that's okay too so that is pretty much it for this Rihanna inspired hairstyle I hope you guys enjoyed if you did don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video and turn on my post notification bell to get notified every single time I post I post two times a week on Tuesdays and Fridays so you don't want to miss a video also don't forget to like this video leave down any video suggestions you may have down below while my Instagram my snapchat my Twitter and my TikTok to keep up with me and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!